today I'm reviewing the Purito Pure Vitamin C Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Join my Patreon community or click on the link below. And I've got a Beanie Baby for Jonathan, which I just freaking love this one. It's so cute. It's like a unicorn dog. If it were like had a mermaid tail, it'd be like the most awesome thing I've ever seen. We need to make a mermacorn Beanie Baby. That would be freaking awesome. Anyway, so, and I saved this one from Lincoln just minutes ago. I wish it was on camera, but I hero heroically rescued him. And I rescued a turtle yesterday, too. So, oh, you know what? I might put this by the snowman ghost. Can we still see it over there? There we go. That's a good spot, so. Okay, so I've been meaning to review this one. So this is Puritos. I don't know if they're second, third, fourth, try it, vitamin C serum. And I've been asked about it a lot, so I thought I'd review it. Uh, yeah, it's their second, third, fourth try at it. They are trying to make a good vitamin C serum. I get it, but I'll let you know all my thoughts on it. So, Okay, so they say, they call this a whitening serum infused with a vitamin C solution, hyaluronic acid, and other naturally derived ingredients helping improve the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines effectively, helps brighten dull complexion. Helps improve wrinkles and complexion while reducing the appearance of dark circles and acne scars. And some of that is true. Some of it might be a bit exaggerated. Although, if you're newer to vitamin C serum, sometimes starting with something a little bit less strong is a good way to go. This one's a little less strong. So, keep that in mind. But, okay, so my first criteria is packaging. I really like the packaging that they use. And actually, when you get it, it, the pump is not in. It comes sealed, and then you put the pump in when you first use it, which you think would prevent oxidization and things like that. Um, but I don't necessarily know how much it does, actually. So, um, Okay, in terms of denatured types of alcohol, there's none of those. Uh, there's no fragrance. There's no real noticeable scent very much, good or bad. A lot of vitamin C serums that are stronger tend to have a hot dog scent or a metallic scent to them. Uh, this one really doesn't have any noticeable scent to it as far as I could tell. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. And let me do a quick pH test for everybody um, so we can see, because typically vitamin C uh, is pretty pH dependent. Oh, let me, let's see. Oh, I'm making a mess, that's okay. So the pH for this one looks to be probably just below 4, which is where you'd probably want it to be for a vitamin C serum to be effective. Uh, for vitamin C to be really absorbed, the pH needs to be below 4. But the lower the pH gets, the more chance of irritation there is. But if it's above 4, a lot of it can't really be absorbed into the skin and become effective. Um, so you can use this one morning or evening. I personally recommend applying vitamin C serums in the daytime because they help your sunscreens work better. They help your skin fight off free radical and pollution damage. Um, and it really has a nice texture to it. So you can use this after cleansing, um, apply, they say one to two pumps over the entire face, um, then lightly pat for better absorption. I found I like the texture of it. It's got kind of a nice gel texture, absorbs pretty quickly. Uh, into the skin. Some vitamin C serums can feel like greasy or oily. This one does not at all. Um, really easy to use, a pleasure to use, and uh, works well under sunscreens, moisturizers, no pilling issues or layering issues. Um, it is slightly on the hydrating side, but not overly so. So there we go. Um, okay, so let's talk about the antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So we start out with bamboo water, which bamboo has skin conditioning and hydrating properties. Then we got 5% ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C. I find this one is already starting to yellow pretty quickly, even just after like the first uh, two weeks after having opened it, it's starting to oxidize pretty quickly, not nearly as fast as their last version did. This stuff turned to a brown mud color within like two weeks. So this one's still going strong at about a month opened, but it is oxidizing a little bit faster than I normally see from a lot of other vitamin C serums. Although brands really need to be manufacturing their vitamin C serums on a regular basis for them to be effective because they do, they're not stable. They go bad quickly. They oxidize quickly and become totally ineffective once they're oxidized. You're not going to get much from them. 
I feel like in this formula, if they would have added maybe for like acid or vitamin E or just something else in there to help the vitamin C stay stable, it would have been a little bit of a better formulation. Although it's still, 5% is still, a, it's a decent amount. Although a lot of research on vitamin C, I don't, you're typically, uh, if you're not a newbie to vitamin C, you want a formulation with 10%. 15% and if your skin's not sensitive at all even like 20% might be the max so vitamin C is on the lower end of it but you can still get some benefits from it especially if you're a newbie although if you're a newbie to vitamin C the isn't tree C niacin toning ampules are really nice one too so um, okay so we've got also we've got niacinamide in here which is an antioxidant skin brightening and anti-acne ingredient we've got sodium hyaluronate in here which is a humectant we've got jojoba esters which is an emollient We've got this hydroxyacetophenone, which is it's an antioxidant preservative combo ingredient, which has a slightly controversial reputation, but I'll let you make up your own mind on that. And we've got uh, glutathione, which is a plant, ex plant based antioxidant, and then adenosine, which is a cell communicating ingredient. So, okay, ingredient list, but if they would have added ferulic acid, maybe vitamin E, something in there. To make this a little bit more stable, I think this would have been an overall much better formulation. Um, the formulation is kind of similar to their other vitamin C serums. I'm not sure why they won't do that. I don't know. Sometimes there's a lot, especially if it's made in Korea. I know Korea has some strict laws regarding retinols and exfoliants, so maybe there's something there that I'm not aware of, but um, overall I think a couple small changes could have made this their winning formula, but at this point, I do not think this is their winning formula at this point. So maybe we'll see a fourth or a fifth vitamin C serum from them. I, I'm not sure. So, okay, in terms of animal testing, Purito is cruelty free. Performance, I just obviously, I think you can tell from the tone, I wasn't super impressed with this one. It works well in my routine, it layers well, it feels nice on the skin. I didn't have any issues with that. I didn't really notice any brightening effects, although I'm not a newbie to vitamin C. So somebody with, that's new to vitamin C or very sensitive skin that can't use high strength vitamin C's probably will have a little bit better uh, experience with it. So that's my bias in it because I can't turn back time and have this be my first vitamin C serum I ever used. So um, the one thing I will mention is it's very friendly for acne prone skin. There are no uh, acneogenic ingredients of note to mention. So that's a really nice thing. So it could be good for sensitive skin, acne prone skin, uh, newer skin to vitamin C. But for me, it just wasn't a winner. If you've used other vitamin C serums before, especially ones that are stronger, I think you might be a little bit underwhelmed with this one. Um, in terms of the price, so this is the full size, which is two ounces. So it's about double the size of most vitamin C serums. They're usually about one ounce. 60 milliliters, it retails for around $34, but it's almost always on sale somewhere. So it's pretty affordable, although it's two ounces, it's double the size of normal vitamin C. I really doubt the average person is gonna be able to use this up before it goes bad, which is then just a waste at that point. Unless maybe you're sharing it with your sister, or your mom or something, then it's a little bit better deal. Um, in terms of the it factor, I just, I noticed the same issues with their other vitamin C serums that this one has. It's oxidizing quicker than a lot of other vitamin C products. Um, not my favorite, although for some people it might be a total winner. I mean, sometimes you just don't know until you try it. But for me, I would not repurchase this formula. I'm very excited to get back to my other favorite vitamin C serums because this one just, it was underwhelming, although... Sometimes a lower concentration, maybe it'll work somewhere else in my routine. I'm, I'm going to give it a whirl, so, because I don't want it to go to waste, so, because I've still got about half a bottle left, so. Anyway, okay, with a 10 being a perfect score, this one got a 7. There's some decent characteristics of it. A couple really small changes I think could have been a total game changer for this product, but they didn't make them yet, so maybe we'll see it on their next incarnation. I don't know, but anyway interested in hearing your thoughts on this if you guys have had a chance to try it or if you've tried their other formulas uh yeah what'd you like about it what'd you not like about it did it work for you or not so anyway i love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much